Greetings everyone and welcome to this video on output for generalized linear models in JASP. We can glance over the model summary table and have a look at the AIC and the p-value for the H1 model. AICs are useful to compare between model fits. Generally speaking, lower the AIC, the better the model fit. The coefficients table provides estimates and p-values to signify which variables are significant predictors of the number of awards won in this case. For factor variables, the reference cast can be changed by going to the data viewer and selecting the explanatory variable of interest. Here, we wish to keep the reference class, the general program as the reference class. We can do so in such a fashion. Now that the general program is the reference class, the other levels of this factor will be compared to that class. We can see in the coefficients table that the coefficient for math scores is 0.07. Note that the estimates are on the response scale. In this case, we have kept it as log. So this means that the expected log count for a one unit increase in math is 0.07. For the indicator variable academic program, this compares between the academic program and the general program, the general program being the reference class and the expected log count for the academic program increased by about 1.1 approximately. The indicator variable vocational program is the expected difference in log count, which is 0.37 between the vocational group program and the reference class, the general program. The estimate marginal means provides the estimates over the response scale. Contrasts help to delineate statistically significant differences between different levels of a factor more clearly. In the next video, we will have a look at how to report our findings. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.